So, um, my name is Oliver New, I live five minutes walk away just the other side of King Street. Um, I have lived in Southall and been active in the community for 45 years. Uh, and I know a lot of you have been active a similar length of time or a long time because I, I know a lot of faces. I worked in Southall uh, and I'm here speaking on behalf of Ealing Trade Union Council which is local trade union activists. And if you do belong to a union branch locally, then please try and get your branch to join the Union Trade Union Council. There are two issues relating to the sale of Southall Town Hall. The big issue, as far as we're concerned, is that it's a cut, that it's a loss of a community asset. And they have, over many years, taken away one thing after another from Southall. A lot of them are listed on this piece of paper, just as they have in communities all around the country. They have privatised. In other words, they've given public assets uh, to private people, often very cheap cost, to make money. And what they hope is that as they go along, as they cut, as they make the rich richer and the rest of us struggle more and more, they hope we'll all give up. They hope that we'll be demoralised. And even the council that is supposed to represent us and sometimes does some good things, even they seem to have just got into the habit that they can sell anything. But of all the buildings in Southall that I've been aware of over those years, Southall Town Hall is a sort of heart. It, it represents, Town Hall represents a united community. And when they come to sell the Town Hall, it's amazing that they didn't expect the sort of reaction that they've got. And I have to say, even the government, which is the government in office, which is totally arrogant about all of their cuts, all of their privatisation, is now feeling the public anger. People now want to reverse rail privatisation. The overwhelming bulk of people think it only makes sense that the railways are back in public ownership, that the gas and electricity and the water are back in public ownership. Even the government are now saying, oh, well, austerity is ended. Uh, I mean, it's a lie, they're carrying on doing it, but they are starting to go on the defensive. And that is what's happening now. We don't accept that the last building, apart from this one that we're sitting in, that is there for the community, should be sold off whoever it's sold to. It's not acceptable. Because this community is here to work. This community in Southall was built around originally the factories that were walls uh, and sunrise radio, that was where suddenly people came to this town in hundreds and thousands. And people came to this town after the Second World War, communities from around the world. People came to this town to work and people came from different communities, different religions, all different kinds of people and they work together and they work in unity. And when people have tried to divide this town, for example, in 1979, when the Fascist National Front tried to come to this town to spill division and sow hatred, there was a huge united response in defence of our united community and we want to keep that community united together. We celebrate the fact that there are different kinds of people in this community and we work together and we live together and that's what we want. And I'm afraid uh, I very much worry about some of the things that are being said uh, in terms of divisions within the community. Because what we don't want is a community where it's said this religion and this group had that much spent by the council and that one had this much spent and we're going to deliver votes. That's not the way to look at a united community. That's not the way we think. We want a building like this one where women can come, where men can come, where people of different ages and different communities can come.
because it's like a school, it's like a hospital, it's something for the community that we want together, that's what we need to keep. Our hospital is in even worse straits, and I have to say, credit to the council, they have been campaigning to defend, uh, defend the hospital. But that hospital, which we need, people will die without that hospital, is under threat because of the cuts. Uh, they want to close hundreds of beds and close the accidents and emergency. And we've had a fantastic campaign against that. There have been campaigns up and down the country to defend the NHS. The biggest grassroots national campaign since the poll tax campaign. And it was the poll tax campaign that overthrew the BC Thatcher government. And our community campaigns can do the same thing uh, if they don't wake up, if they don't realise the strength of feeling that we need our community resources and we need our town halls, we need meeting places, we need to empower communities, and you can't empower communities, and you can't empower unity if you don't have the wherewithal to do it, and you don't have community spaces, that is what council should be there to defend. So we're going to have some new challenges now, because uh, there are these tower blocks going on. The Tory government gave away the heart, the heart of Southall, which was that polluted land, that gasworks land. They gave it away for almost nothing to private property developers, and now we as taxpayers are subsidising Crossrail, which is going to come to Southall. Now they're rubbing their hands, we can make some money. We can make some money by building high-rise flats. Southall is going to be Tower Block City. We're going to have an extra 40 to 50,000 residents. And those residents haven't come here to work. They've come here because they can't afford uh, housing in central London because of the property speculation. So we need to, I don't like the way it's happening. I don't like the huge profits being made at the taxpayer. I don't like the fact that they're working on polluted land, that they are, they are uh, uh, causing filthy air, that people are getting asthma, but nevertheless, we know they're going to have these town blocks. We need to welcome the new residents to Southall, the new people. How are we going to welcome those residents? How are we going to involve those residents in the community if we don't have community buildings, if we don't have places where some of them can come and volunteer and take part in community activi activities? It's ridiculous. And it should be the role of the council to understand that, to welcome people, because we do that, we do welcome them. So I'm really grateful uh, that for everybody that's come here tonight to support us. I'm sure that once uh, this uh, misunderstanding that has been deliberately created has, has died off, it will be very easy for people in the community to agree. We need public buildings, we need this dominion centre, we need the town hall, and we're going to insist on having it. And I think that would be the overwhelming people of, of, from whatever community right across Southall. And I think we can have a big campaign, and I look forward uh, to those councillors who voted against the South, sale of the town hall being joined by more and more councillors as we put the pressure on, as they talk to people in this community. So I'd like to thank everybody for coming here tonight and I'd like to, in particular, to thank all the activists from the Save South and Town Hall campaign and all of the other campaigns that are essential uh, to having a united community such as we have in South Hall, community that I'm very proud of. So, unity and solidarity. Thank you. Can I just ask for a quick one minute Contributions, closing the Very quickly, there's a lot of things council can do, and it's not a legal question. Uh, actually, the first thing that they need to do is to stop simply implementing the Tory cuts. What's happening is that the officers of this council and the officers of other councils are talking to each other and more or less running the council, getting them into a way of thinking 
that you have to allow some of the developments that are taking place, that you have to allow uh, privatisation, that you have to allow cuts. They think the only way forward is to have all of these developments and bring money in. First thing they need to do is to throw that mentality out of the window. They can campaign, they showed on some issues they can campaign, and thankfully leadership of the Labour Party has changed, and that's beginning to change. However, they don't, this is not about cuts. They don't need, whether cuts are short of money or not, they don't need to sell South and Town Hall. They're not going to get any significant money for it. And what they will lose in terms of the heart of the community is far, far bigger. And we need to be, from this meeting, talking to people. Because if you talk to ordinary people in South Hall, they say, of course we need that Town Hall. Of course we do. So we just need to go around and tell everybody what's happening, that the judge agreed with us that it shouldn't happen. We need to build up that campaign. We need education for all. We need hospitals for all. We need a community for all. And that's the message from this meeting. Please just go and talk to everybody. And I think we will be able to win. Thank you.